Hello once again YouTube and welcome back to The Domain. Today it is finally time, the ODST Wombat Overwatch. This thing has been in my possession for so long now, it's actually wild that I haven't made a video yet. I did an unboxing of 11 of these which I distributed to friends in the UK and this is actually the first time I'm gonna build this thing which is crazy. I am just so in love with the whole packaging design of this. It's sleek, it's to the point, it's got nods to ODST, an actual image of ODST book with Halo Universe. It even pays homage to the old images that we used to get on the fronts of these boxes, but now it's replaced with this sleek design, which I still really do enjoy. We got Buck, we got a brute that is like a captain, but he's labeled as a brute miner, which I don't really get, but never mind. And this Wombat, we've only ever had one Wombat before, and it came with an ODST rookie, so it makes sense that this one comes with an ODST book. You may also notice these figures are already out of the packaging slightly. That's because I showed them off in a previous video in that uh, Let's Fix Mega Distribution video. We got the second camera for the gorgeous close-ups. Here is the ODST book in all of its glory. Yeah, they've done a lot to make it different to the original book, which, by the way, came out in Halo Hero Series 1. You heard that right. That's the last time we got a book in Halo Hero Series 1. That's crazy, especially because he's such an iconic character and he's in two games. Paint apps look amazing on this. The tiny, tiny book is just about noticeable. Look at that with the UNSC. Um, and, you know, two different kinds of UNSC logo. The visor looks clean. Uh, there's no paint application on this antenna, so that's a bit of a loss. The hands look very well painted. This is gorgeous. He's got a great little sparkly effect, which you could see from the original renders of this set. This is a great ODST. It comes with a basic gray assault rifle. Yeah, that's a, like sort of book signature weapon anyway. What an ODST. And he also comes with this tack pad. A little uh, sort of drone operating uh, reconnaissance pad thing. It looks great. Like, it's simple. It's just one thing, but it's got a really clean print. I can't complain at all about this. And we do get a gorgeous brute alongside it. This is the classic, goofy, sort of cartoonish color scheme that you expect from Halo 3, but so many different colors applied here. It's time to retire the Craig head, and I know that's a depressing thing to hear, but I want a menacing brute. I don't want that goofy head. The reds, browns, the pale skin, this all works perfectly, even the paint application on his uh, legs there. No paint on the toes, but we barely ever do get that. This is a beautiful figure, and it comes with the return of the brute plasma rifle. This is a slightly different color than we've ever got before. It's almost like a tiniest little pink issue. I don't know, it's it's not like the red that we've had before, but it's still nice. In that soft plastic, and this is one of the last times we'll ever get this plasma rifle because it's now been remade and is launching in the Halo Universe Series 3 blind bags. They both come with desert base plates, and they just look great. What a pair. Well, they're, en they're enemies, but like, what a pair. That's some of the best Halo Mega. Like, that is some of the best figurines you can get on the market for this price. Amazing stuff. We've also got these to rejoice about, the return of the brown paper bags, and it's now safe to say that they are being issued in a lot of Mega products. The first ever time we got it was the Tesla Cybertruck, but the new Hornet and this Wombat both have the brown paper bags. I'm very happy about that. I'm gonna take this uh, opportunity to just build slowly and have a chat with you guys. You know, oh. I see some paint. Oh, look at that. That is some nice paint application right there. Surprisingly beefy manual, actually, to be honest, compared to what I've had before with these small scale sets. All right, let's 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 just jump straight into it, shall we? I've got some really exciting blind bag videos coming soon, including a opening of the new blind bag series with the designer of the actual figures, which is such a beautiful thing. So the color scheme is different from the original Wombat. Maybe I'll do a comparison one day. I actually have the original Wombat um, flying around my new Mombasa diorama, so I imagine I'll probably replace it with this one. I also, I can't really comment on what the, like how this compares to the previous Wombat because I built that literally what feels like a million years ago. I imagine this is a more intuitive design than that original Wombat. That's a solid foundation for any build. Let me know guys if you were able to get this. Um, there has been, you know, there's, there's been some problems with uh, distribution around the ODST sets, which is such a shame because they are, you know, again, this is 
literally the book has only come out in one other set and it was just so many years ago. You know, if you guys make your voices heard enough, you never know, like the Falcon Sweep was restocked. I managed to score this from Canada. It's actually got a really good release in Toys R Us Canada. And yes, Toys R Us still exists in Canada and my goodness, it's such a nice experience walking through Toys R Us again. Super nostalgic. The hardest build I ever did was likely the Tesla. Uh, that Tesla Cybertruck was so challenging. What a brutal build. This one will not take me 13 and a half hours like the Tesla did. Going forward, I'm never really going to film one of these reviews or unboxings without two cameras, because it just adds so much. It's a very funny set to redo. I never thought we'd get a second Wombat. The first Wombat came out a long, long time ago, so like it, it kind of makes sense. But when I saw it, I was like, well, okay, okay, if, if you want to do that, sure. I don't need a new wombat in any stretch of the imagination, but if you want to make one, then go for it, guys. I get that, like, they wanted to get it to a new audience, but I think what Mega uh, just just rests too much on is the uh, sort of reliance on just releasing figures and vehicles. The fact that, like, we just got a new Hornet, which, like, realistically, we've not had a Hornet in the game since Halo 3. I want Halo Universe sets to exist. Like, I want Mega to go back and revisit lots of old games, but there's so much to, to do. There's so much you can make. A wombat is just not really, not really something I was desiring at all. But then again, I am just so happy to get a new book. It's about dang time. It was obvious that book was going to release in something because the ODST pods came out and they had all of Alpha 9 except book. So it was like, well, book's got to come out in something then, right? Because like, he's the one that's arguably the rarest. Well, Mickey was the rarest, but then Mickey came out in the um, 20th character pack and then just became common. Interesting design. I certainly don't feel like this was how the original Wombat went together. It's very rare to get me complaining. The only time I've ever really done some mild complaining is um, with the Arbiter's Quest because I really just wanted a heretic banshee on its own. I just enjoy these products. Like I don't really find like a crazy amount wrong with Each them. Each to their own. You know, everyone is welcome. Some nice printed detailing on the sides there. Yes, we're inverting it underneath. Oh, look at that. That's fun. So that pops on in like a two-piece and then that clips on. Oh, that's nice. That's sleek. I like that design a lot. That's obviously a big step up from the previous one, Bass. That's fun. Hey, look, I'm having fun. Hey, Dad, I'm having fun with my Halo. Are they just surveillance drones? Can they carry out strikes? Hey, Halopedia, do you want to clarify that, please? That looks like some sort of guidance system, or maybe that's an infrared camera. Ah, well, actually, I think my question just got answered. This looks like we're doing missiles. And you may be like, well, Simon, how did you not know that was coming with the set? I, I try and go into these as blind as possible. I want an or organic reaction for you guys. The only complaint I have about these things, what is this, Mago? Like, what is that? Please make it so much better. What is that? What is the point of that? Honestly, that's been a complaint of mine for like probably 10 plus years with Mega. I'm like, what are you doing giving me this stop? That is a gorgeous drone. There's no doubt about that. Actually, that is pretty cool how it just stands up on its own. But that's not really enough. But apart from that, look at that. We we finished the drone. This is really nice, guys. Um, for a low, low price, I mean, if you get this at retail, it's like 12, 15 bucks. You can, 12, 15 bucks, no, only one book in this. <laughs> An ODST book, a brute captain minor, general commander. This is just the best of Halo Mega at an affordable price. A vehicle that I certainly didn't need redoing, but I can clearly see they've put some effort into revamping it with nice new missiles, a ton of printed detail, and a nice speckled gray effect running through it. A lot of good color choices. Clearly a more thought out, fleshed out drone than we've seen before. So let me know down below if you're looking to get this set. It has been on Amazon for about 25 bucks. And to be honest with you, that's one of those where I'd put the money down. Like I don't like paying more than retail, but for this, Retail is already dumb cheap, like $12, $15 is so cheap for this, so I'd be willing to pay like $25 if it came to You it. stay awesome, you stay safe out there, folks. And the drone is signing off.